Childhood trauma causes more than physical and emotional pain. It can also lead to lifelong health problems. It takes just one medical provider to make a difference. The single most important thing that we need today is the courage to address ACEs head on and say, this is real and this is all of us. You can join the Fresno County Trauma-Informed Network of Care and revolutionize healthcare today. ACEs are adverse childhood experiences. And there are 10 ACEs that are part of the landmark study actually connected for the first time in history the relationship between physical health and emotional health. As a child, I felt very lonely, even though I lived in a home with my parents just right outside my bedroom door. Learning about ACEs and reading about ACEs and seeing things that described me and what I was feeling and what I was going through really made me feel heard and seen. As primary care providers, as we know, our main role when it comes to our patient encounters is primary prevention. Being able to take just two minutes out of our patient encounter time can really have an impact when it comes to uh, toxic stress. And we're specifically looking at risk factors. Um, so we're asking questions in regards to um, violence in the home, drug use, mental illness, history of mental, mental illness amongst family members, um, food insecurities, things of that nature, which, um, you know, based on the patient's score, helps us have a better viewpoint of their, their risk factors for chronic health conditions later on in life. ACEs itself can have a significant impact on patients, you know, health conditions or mental uh, health itself when it comes to depression, anxiety, addiction, heart disease, um, respiratory, um, you know, diseases. Based on the outcome of that screening, you can make a referral to a community health worker. They're the ones that are going to build a stronger, deeper relationship with the families and, and actually go beyond the ACEs screening and, and do a social determinants of health screening and really get a, a holistic understanding of what the needs are for that family and really guide them to some services that uh, the, the physician could not um, have done because they're not aware of these services. So that's a really important role also through the services that they actually provide, whether it's connecting people to food or employment opportunities, housing, all of those sorts of things um, not only impact the family, um, but also relieve that stressful feeling of, I don't know where to go for resources. Back in about 2019, we really dove into some deep-rooted trainings for all of our organizations in Fresno. And we have, uh, worked with about 90 different organizations um, and provided some trainings for their staff. The trauma training that we provided to the community-based organizations really focused on the biological mechanisms of toxic stress and the impact that that has on us as human beings. So these trainings have built the capacity of these organizations to provide services for the network of care. So when these physicians are referring to the community health worker, these organizations are much more prepared to provide those services. We can mitigate these numbers and help our patients, our patients' families, our communities, and overall we can revolutionize healthcare. As a queer woman, it feels like the resources that are available to me are scarce and difficult to access here in Fresno County. And I think that that's why, as I've learned about trauma-informed care, that it's really important for doctors' offices especially to be trauma-informed, because if my primary care doctor had known about the resources in the community, I could have gotten help a lot sooner. Finding out my ACEs score was so overwhelming for me. I. I drove home with this information and I felt like I couldn't keep this to myself. I sat down with my partner and we both kind of spoke. This opened up a conversation about both of our childhood trauma and that was the day we both made a pact that we had to heal individually and as a unit and we had to make sure that we face this and that we use this information for the good so that we can be better people, better parents for our son and our daughter.